You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey guys, Today I Grew Up, and I want to update you on the behind the scenes of the making of my movie accurate Mr. Potato Head. I went to Wander's Replica Creations. I said, hey, can you make me a potato head with two separate eyes because it doesn't exist? He said, sure. I said, make sure you make the holes 5 16th of an inch, please, because the custom parts I'm making for him need to be this size so that my parts work with this body that you're sending me. So he sent me this Mach 1 and it had holes for the eyebrows. And I was like, well, I don't need holes for the eyebrows because that doesn't work for what I'm doing. So he was able to cover that up. So here he sent me the second proof. And I said, okay, let's let's go with that one. That's That looks great. Um, he did do a back compartment for me. So that's hopefully it works for me. It looks like it works. Bottom of the feet, it looks like it's bigger. So I might have to fill that in myself because that doesn't look 5 16th of an inch to me. And then here are the other holes of the side view of the potato head body. Um, and the back compartment actually opens up. So I'm hoping I can make this work for what I'm doing. So I I heard that um, the tracking number I was provided, I looked it up. It said April 21st was when it was processed. It's coming all the way from uh, the Netherlands. And um, I still haven't received it. I ended up contacting them. They said because of COVID-19, unfortunately, that there's going to be delay in shipments because of, um, you know, it's just they're going to have to go through extra screening process. And so as of right now, I could get it from now till next Tuesday. I don't really know yet. It's been 36 days in transit. I don't think I've ever had a package take this long to get to my house. So 36 days in transit. So unfortunately, guys, I don't have the movie accurate Mr. Potato Body because it's still in the mail and it's been delayed. So because I hit 25,000 subs, I want to show you what I did to make the parts for Movie Acre Potato Head. So I got Play School Bucket from 1987, which included some very useful parts that I was going to use for this custom mod. And number one, I got the bendy arms. Picasso, a very popular YouTuber, you guys know who he is. He actually recommended I get the bendy arms. I couldn't agree more. I think they look most film rep like they look most like the film. Um, I definitely think that, like Potato Head, we saw in the movie, he did have bendy arms. Um, Toy Story Collection arms are a little too stiff. So these are nice because they're a little flexible. I was just modding them. I was able to attach a peg on there. And um, that's going to work now so we could use it like we see it in the movie. Because the bendy arms don't come with this peg. So I had to customize that. Um, so I think they look amazing. I think they look great. And thank you, Picasso, for the suggestion because they came out really awesome. Another surprise that I didn't know was I got this awesome uh, suction hat. So it's from 1987. It's a vintage original Mr. Potato Head hat. As you can see, there's no pegs on the bottom. So that's really cool. You can just throw it on there just like the movie. It's gonna fall right off. And I really feel like this is the best one for movie accuracy if you're doing a custom mod. And it looks amazing. And I'm so happy that I got it randomly in this really old 1987 play school bucket. Next, the mustache. Um, this is the Toy Story 4 Play School Potato Head mustache. I cut the top of it um, because in the movie, his mustache has that kind of top attachment where it just slips onto the peg this way. Uh, so I think this looks really good. I can always paint the mustache, um, but I think it looks pretty good right now. Um, so I went with this nose. Toy Story Collection knows because I feel like that was the most movie accurate for me. But the back, I had to gut it because it had attachments that weren't meant for a potato head, regular potato head hole. So I ended up gutting it and I super glued this peg in there so that it could fit. And um, I think it looked really great. So the Play School Toy Story 4 nose is here on the right. I cut the peg off of that and I used it for a Toy Story Collection nose. And you can see uh, from the movie still, I really think in shape and size and color, Toy Story Collection Nose nails it a lot closer. Play School, not so much, a little bit smaller. And then the 1987 Potato Head Nose I, I randomly got in the bucket was a little too big and not movie accurate with shape and size. So Toy Story Collection was the way to go. It was worth modding it. It was, it was not easy to do, um, but I'm glad I didn't break it and I was able to put a peg in there. And so now that's going to work for 
his nose and mustache combination. I really like the toy mode. I, ch I chase toy mode all the time. And Miss Potato Head's lips look like Play School right here, Toy Story 4 Potato Head lips. So these are unpainted, unmodded. They're just factory. And I'm going to use that for my Potato Head. I think it looks great. And uh, once I put it together, I'll have a better idea. I got Toy Story Collection ears because I think that looks more movie accurate. And I gutted the mechanism, which is a different kind of peg. And then I put the Play School Toy Story 4 pink pegs instead. So that's why they look a little bit different shade of pink. That doesn't bother me too much. I can always paint it, but it just functionally works. And it's going to look really amazing once I put it on the potato. I actually mixed this paint color myself. It looks exactly like Toy Story 1. If you see that shot, it's the color looks spot on. It's a turquoise blue. It's not too glossy. It's more of a matte, but has a little bit of a shiny tint, which I actually like. I used acrylic paint. I mixed some blue and whites. And I made this cool um, turquoise color. And I just think it's awesome. I took the bottoms off. These are the Toy Story Collection shoes. And then I painted the bottom the tops. And then I also attached a blue peg from an old vintage Potato Head shoes. And I just made it work. I put the peg in there. And now it works. These are the Blind Squirrel Props eyes. Um, I had Blind Squirrel Props guy fill in the top of the eyes. So you don't have that little indent. Usually that indent is in there for um, the eyebrows, but I want them to be just like the movie. So I had them fill it in, then I painted it all white myself, and then I attached the regular potato head pegs for the potato head. Here are the pupil stickers. They're black. I'm going to put them on once I'm ready to assemble my potato head, once I get the body and have a better idea. Now, these are the Blind Squirrel Props eyebrows. I don't really like them. I'm going to probably end up just molding my own from modeling clay, black modeling clay, because I think that's going to look most like the film, because these are not 100% movie accurate. I think the eyes are, eyebrows are not. So here is um, a regular potato head body. It's a Play School Toy Story 4 one. Just to sample and show you the size of the pegs. They do work. Blind Squirrel Props pegs are the ones that I used, and I have no problems attaching these custom parts that I created for a uh, movie accurate potato head. I think they're gonna work great. As long as I can make the holes all five, five sixteenths of an inch, then all my parts that I created are going to work great. So this custom mod is coming together. I just really love that the pegs are holding. Everything I did to attach the pieces um, worked. And I definitely wanna give another shout out to Picasso for the help because he helped direct me through this process in some of the help but it even bounces the bendy arms are moving around just like the movie i think it looks really cool and this is just to show you guys that once i do get the movie accurate body i can paint it i can mod it try to make it most movie accurate because nothing is really actually movie accurate we're just trying to chase as close as we can to the film and so this is my attempt to do that so yeah it's not going to be the most movie accurate potato head in the world but I am chasing that actual functionality where it's actually a toy you can play with. It looks like the movie, and then I want to get it as close to, I can, to the look of the toy mode Mr. Potato Head as possible. So hopefully, with all this custom hard work that I've done, it took me months to get here, um, we can pull off something that looks really amazing. So I can't wait to get that body and finish uh, everything to show off my movie accurate custom Mr. Potato Head. And I'm going to give it my best shot. So thank you guys for watching, for liking, for subscribing to my content. It's really helping make a difference and make this channel stay alive. So I'll see you guys on the next video review.